Hi everybody, thanks for joining me again this week and welcome to the channel if you're brand new. I'm out this week for the first time in about nine months with the Nocta Simplex. Good to get back to basics. I'm Adam, this is my metal detector, that's a beach. Welcome to Detect Sussex. Yes, so back down the beach again this week. Regular viewers will know that I've had the legend on the channel since uh, about January time, uh, shortly before it came out to the general public. Um, I haven't touched Simplex since, and I thought, well, let's get the squeaky out again and uh, have a little play. So on here on 2.78 on the version, uh, I'm going to part mode two. I'm going to do one bar off on sensitivity. I'll chuck it up if I can afterwards. I'll do a quick auto ground balance. There we are, so remember which buttons do which, which is good. There we go, uh, 26 on the ground balance there. There we are, I'll remember which button does which. There we go, cool, let's get cracking. Okay, obviously it's been a long time since I've had this machine out. I'm gonna get used to the sounds and the numbers again, but I have a signal here. Hopefully you can hear that, put the headphones down around the microphone. 24 on the screen. I'm not expecting too much. It's probably just a ring pull or something, but uh, it's the first good signal. So we'll give a little dig on camera. Getting 26s now. Okay, might be out. Getting a double beep just on the edge there. Okay, I'm getting in there with the pinpointer. I need to turn the machine off then, because... <laughs> um, There we go. Uh, the uh, pinpoint button on the legend is in the same place as the off button on the simplex. Uh, that'd be funny, wouldn't it? Right. Oh. Oh, I can see it. Yeah, a little bit of scrap. Didn't expect it to be too much. But there we are. We're off on the simplex. On board. Okay, hope you can hear me over the waves. Got one here. Bouncing a little bit, late 20s, early 30s. So let's give that a dig and see what we have got. Oh, we've got something which is out. Oh, I see it. Okay. Yep, and about 30. That's going to be a ring pull. There we are, ring pull. Onward. Okay, banger of a signal here. Coming up in the 50s. Mid 50s, bouncing a little. So let's get in. The tidy's got a little way to come in, so it may well catch up with me, but I'll try and get this out before we get that far. Okay, I'm just gonna put my headphones back on my head so you won't hear the sound, but I will, just to help me uh, get to this more quickly. Okay. out right what we got what do we got something in the middle there i 
Ah, got it. I think I got it. That's the bottle top. Yep, yeah, that's the bottle top. Sharp to 70 just at the end there. Bottle top on board. Okay, another good signal. Solid mid 50s, so could be another bottle top. Cool, let me just put my headphones back on. It's really hard to hear exactly where it is. I'd like to, like to give you a chance to hear this, the uh, signal. Oh, hello. <laughs> where are we? Just there. It's solid 55, 56 when I'm dead over it. Oh, it's moved. Uh, late 50s now, 57, 58. Let's get down there with the twin points and have a look. Ah, got it. Never ceases to amaze me how small things can get with this simplex. On wood. All right, next one. Now when I'm dead over, I'm getting 60s, early to mid 60s. 63, 62, a bit of 65, yeah, dead over it there, 65. Given quite a good depth, so it's either small or deep. Right, put the headphones back on my head. Okay, just there. Okay, it's out. Probably quite small, you know that, in fact I think you can see it. Yeah. I'm not gonna shake that and scoop too much, that is tiny. A little bit of aluminium. Right, I'm gonna try and head down the beach a little bit towards the pier. See if we can't uh, find a few more coins down that end. On board. Okay, whatever this is, the Simplex likes it. Early 90s when I'm dead over it, a little bit wobbly. It's funny, I haven't used the Legend for so long. Coming back to this machine, this machine VDIs go from 1 to 99, the Legend is 1 to 60, and you can see why it's a lot less stable on the Simplex. Now that I've used the Legend for a while, the number's jumping a little bit more than you'd normally expect from the Legend. Well, that's a bad thing, it's just an observation. Yeah, no wonder it liked it. Big old hunk of junk. Big flat plate. Any detector's gonna like that. Yeah. Rubbish. On board. Okay, I've got something in the scoop. Um, it's coming up around about 80. Didn't think it was too much, too interesting, but put it out. Immediately thought it was a ring pull. Um, but I can see I don't think it is. Or maybe it is, I'm not sure. It seems a little bit too thick be a ring pull to me so yeah don't know what that would be could be a fancy key perhaps a, a bit broken off a business end broken off I don't know could be a fixing got any ideas please drop me a comment down below because I'd love to find out cool on wood. Okay, whatever you do, don't look down. <laughs> Put the headphones down. I've got a signal here. 64, if you can see the box. 64, 65. Right on the edge of this, uh, this drop. So, be a bit careful. Put the headphones on so I can track it down. Uh, 
I've moved it. Oh, I can see it. Oh, I can see it. It sounded like a coin because it was flat. <laughs> a little bit of junky aluminium. On wood. mid 70s slightly bouncy let's give this a dig yeah okay, got it it is coin shaped very grotty so I just chucked it on the floor Yep, there is. Is that a rusty coin? Let's just throw it down. Doesn't matter, it's simplex, I can take it. Uh, yeah, I think that's a rusty coin. What coin, I don't know for sure, but my guess would be a 2P, looking at the uh, size. Probably a 2P with a, a steel core, but wow, that is gone, isn't it? That is well and truly gone. Yep, yeah, that's definitely not spendable anymore. Yeah, you just won't make out the design on it. Very vaguely. It's the, uh, I can't really call it, the feathers on the back. Yeah, grotty. On wood. Okay, got a strong signal here. 72, 72, 73. So let's give that a little dig and see what we've got. Okay, it's moved, whatever it is. Let's get down there and have a look. Tat. On wood. Okay, just another Grok DTP. Yuck, 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 yuck. But I'm down in the more touristy area now, under the pier. You expect a few of these under the pier. There's a few restaurants and things just down there, so hopefully there'll be a few more things for me to find in a slightly better condition. Shapes like a coin. On board. Okay, as you can see, I'm right underneath the pier now. And I've got a signal just here. There it is. Solid 40 when I'm dead over it. Just there. Slightly jumping up to turn the camera on, but it's uh, a good signal, good sound. Fairly solid 40, three bars down. Let's have a little look. I'll put the headphones back on my head just so I can hear. There we go. Alrighty, let's have a look. This is quite a promising signal. 40 is usually, what, 20p, I think, on a simplex. Maybe a 50. So it's been a while. 
Oh, I can see it. I can see it. Awesome. in the bottom there. There it is. First coin of the day and it's a good one. 50p. Lovely stuff. Let me zoom in. Bit better focus. There we go. Yeah, 50 pence piece. There's Britannia on the back. There is Her Majesty, Her Late Majesty, 1997 on the date. 50 pence. Fantastic. Cool, we're off on the coins. Good spendable coins. Right, let's see if we can find some more. Onward. Okay, ring pull. Onward. Okay, next one. Mid 70s. Another bottle top. Onward. Okay, so the detective picked it up at the 20. I looked down and it was on the surface. Um, it's nothing spectacular or valuable. But this is something I, uh, I'm very happy to do while I'm down here. It is dangerous. Yeah, that's a bit of uh, cord up wire. Sharp ends. There, see? On the surface, someone runs around here, barefoot, adult or child, or even a dog, you know? pet some sort of animal that will hurt that will cause some serious damage so let's get the ends tucked away and we'll get that in my tap box so that nobody can hurt themselves on it there we go I definitely see that as a responsibility if we over down here on the beach take away anything that's dangerous there we are all done right i haven't got long another half hour 45 minutes or so so let's see how much more we can find onward okay got a target here that's coming in a solid 32 could well be a ring pull but uh, i'll give it a go anyway no ah, yeah there he is Just a ring ball. Slim pickings on the beach today. I'm going to uh, head on to a roundup in a minute and uh, final thoughts and uh, tell you a little bit about uh, next week's episode. Onward. Okay, so time is up now. I've been down here for about two and a half hours and I'll be honest with you, I haven't got an awful lot to show for it. <laughs> got a few bits of tap, bottle tops, rusty coins, ring pulls, etc. There's that thing, might be a bit of a key, not sure. There we go, and spendables wise, just one fifty pence piece. Um, but you know, it's got to be there to find. Who knows? Maybe there's nothing else to find today. Lovely, lovely, lovely stuff getting back on the simplex. Felt really good to have it back in my hands. Loved swinging it today. Really, really good fun. Now, next week is Halloween. So I'll be doing my usual annual Halloween episode and of course there won't be anything spooky or scary or you know epic going on in that episode at all will there no not even in the slightest so yeah make sure you subscribe for that have yourselves a fantastic week everybody and I'll see you soon take care